The topic of this video is history of realization of Earth, greenhouse effect and greenhouse gases. So basically in this video I want to show you uh, how scientists figure out there are some gases in atmosphere that can increase the global temperature. The realization that Earth's climate might be sensitive to the atmospheric concentration of gases that create the greenhouse effect is more than a century old. Fleming in 1998 and Wirth in 2003 provided an overview of the emerging science. In terms of the energy balance of the climate system, Marriott noted in 1681 that although the sun's light and heat easily pass through glass and other transparent materials, heat from other sources doesn't pass. The ability to generate an artificial warming of the Earth's surface was demonstrated in simple greenhouse experiments such as Benedictus Saussure's experiments in the 1760s. In 1824, Joseph Fourier, citing Saussure, argued the temperature of the Earth can be augmented by the interposition of the atmosphere because heat in the state of light finds less resistance in penetrating the air. And finally, in 1859, John Tyndall identified through laboratory experiments the absorption of thermal radiation by complex molecules. He noted that changes in the amount of any of the relati relatively active constituents of atmosphere such as water, H2O, and carbon dioxide or CO2 could have produced this effect. So basically he identified that these two molecules, water and CO2 or carbon dioxide, can produce such an effect that allows heat to pass through it and after that when it reaches the Earth's surface it reflected back but it doesn't pass through them again. So it means that these gases in the atmosphere act as a as a as a bl blanket so that's why we sometimes called greenhouse effect as blanketing effect so basically that was the earlier term they were using the scientists were using as blanketing effect but right now all scientists use this term which is greenhouse effect of the earth in 1895 Arrhenius followed with a climate prediction based on greenhouse gases suggesting that a 40 percent increase or decrease in the atmospheric abundance of the trace gas co2 might trigger the glacial advances and retreats so it means that if we increase or decrease the concentration of carbon dioxide or co2 we might have extremely low temperature or extremely high temperature so it's really the te global average temperature really related directly related to the concentration of atmospheric co2 100 years later it would be found that co2 did indeed vary by this amount between glacial and interglacial period however it now appears then the that the initial climatic change preceded the change in co2 but was enhanced by it so it means that the temperature indeed increased by increasing the carbon dioxide concentration. Chalder in 1938 solved a set of equations linking greenhouse gases and climate change. He found that the doubling of atmospheric CO2 concentration resulted in an increase in the mean global temperature of 2 degrees. So it means that when we increase the temp concentration of atmospheric CO2, if we make it double, the global temperature, average global temperature will increase by 2 degrees Celsius. With considerably more warming at the poles and linked 
increasing fossil fuel combustion with the rise in CO2 and other greenhouse effects. In 1947, Alman reported a 1.3 degrees warming in the North Atlantic sector of the Arctic since the 19th century and mistakenly believed this climate variation could be explained entirely by greenhouse gas warming. In the 1950s, the greenhouse gases of concern remained CO2 and H2O, the same two identified by Tyndall a century earlier. It was not until the 1970s that other greenhouse gases identified, and they were such as methane, N2O, which we call it at nitrous oxide, or sometimes it's called laughing gas, and CFC, or carbon fluorochlorides were widely recognized as important anthropogenic greenhouse gases. Anthropogenic greenhouse gases, it means that those gases that produced by human, that produced from human activities. 